Alright guys, so lately I've been getting a lot of questions about what is the best weapon to use in Season 3 and always the answer for me is this. This is the Explosive Crossbow. And why is it the best weapon in the game? Well, I'm gonna show you today. Because I have a blue tool and a pack a punch one crystal on me. And that's what I'm gonna use on this weapon. Just that. And I'm gonna prove it to you why this weapon is the best. Because you can actually dominate tier 3 and even the Dark Aether while only using a pack one crystal and a blue tool. I want to keep this very nice skin. So I'm going to punch the pack a punch machine. There we go. Pap one blue. This thing will one shot any zombie in any zone. And you know what? It's actually pretty insane on HVTs as well. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to go straight for tier three. I do have some other stuff in my backpack, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm going to use those speed cola because it's really important to have that really fast reload and PhD flopper because you you don't want to damage yourself. Like PhD is pretty much the most important perk when using this weapon. And what I like about this, even if you don't manage to to direct hit a zombie, if you shoot at the legs, it will just leave them at one HP or even cripple some of them, which is pretty amazing. But, you know, the loadout is going to be on the screen right now for everybody to use because I know you guys want to see that. And uh, I guess uh, without any further ado, let's go to tier 3. And before that, a quick thanks to our sponsor Guapchi. If you want fast, reliable and cheap Call of Duty services, definitely check them out as they provide camo services such as Interstellar and Borealis, Schematic and Warzone Nuke services and many more. If you want, definitely check the link in the description for more information. Alright guys, so we made it to tier 3. I'm gonna buy some perks first because going here without Juggernaug and Quick Revive is pretty much a death sentence lately. These zombies are absolutely mental when it comes to, to hitting you and doing a ton of damage. So I think we're pretty set now. And okay, keep in mind, my weapon is blue pap one. Look at this. One shot. Of course, you have to get a direct hit as I as I told you earlier. But when you do that, it's a one shot. And if the explosion happens next to the zombie, it's basically going to leave them super low or even cripple them. And I just found quick revive. Mangler right there, where the HVTs is not going to do the same damage as it does, of course, if it's PAP 3 and purple or legendary. But if you ask me, this is some pretty great damage. And just look at that, it's, it's dead already. I mean, this weapon is pretty awesome. Let's try to get a nice horde as well, because this thing is absolutely insane on hordes of zombies. It can pretty much destroy them super fast. And where are these guys? Hello? They're acting very weird. Look at that. He literally has like one health. And then shoot another one next to it and it's they're, they're pretty much dead. Oh my god, that's a lot of essence. And <laughs> there you go. That's that that's what I've been uh, been waiting for for this for this mega abomination. Unfortunately, tier 3 it's again filled with people, so it's kind of hard to actually get contracts. One of the biggest concerns with this weapon is of course going to be the ammo count. Look at that. Head is off in just a few shots. But you can definitely find the ammo of the of the zombies you killed. Look at that. You just get two pouches and you're almost full. And the Mega Abomination decided to actually disappear. So let's take on this Mangler. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Holy, that, that Mangler almost took me down in one rocket. Of course, I didn't have armor, but still. That was pretty insane. And there we go. Mangler dead. You know what, I'm gonna go find a Mega Abomination right now, or actually go for that HVT if I can. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we managed to get the HVT, and luckily, there is another Mega Abomination right here. And I'm just gonna pop this gold play because I, I have it on me, so why not? It's really gonna help me out a bit. Okay, just a few shots, the Mega Abomination's head is gone. And look at that. If you manage to get that critical hit, oh my god, the damage is insane. This is a PAP 1 blue weapon. Oh, I might go down. The zombies. So many of them. Okay, we're good. We managed to grab some ammo. He's almost dead. But yeah, the ammo is like the biggest concern for this weapon. So every time you try to you take down a horde or something, just go over and, and grab the ammo. And he's dead. Just like that. And look at that. I got two blue tools back. <laughs> awesome. All right, not that great, but you know what? It's fine. And we do have a Mr. HVT Mega Abomination. So let's go bully that one as well. Look at that. We're back at full health, uh, full ammo. 
basically takes only a few pouches to to get back to full ammo because it only has 48 in the in the reserve uh i never tried this with mago folding i did hear a lot of people though that it doesn't actually work on this but i think if it would work you would run out of ammo way too quick if you ask me all right there we go we got the mr mega lasering of course the megas are gonna take a bit more work but that was still pretty darn fast if you ask me the zombies are like my biggest issue right now there we go second head is off of course this used to have the the termite tips which was like even more overpowered than this again blue pap one could absolutely destroy tier three but what i love about those more than i love about this is the fact that when you hit something with the termite tip it would not be able to hit you anymore while this it can hit you until the point it actually explodes but you know what we we got reagan plants i've been getting that uh, quite a bit lately and i actually was complaining that i haven't seen reagan plants in a while but you know what? Mega Abomination down, just like that. And we only use the PAP1 crystal and a blue tool. So, I don't know. If you ask me, that's a pretty good deal. And we got three blue tools so far. So, I think I think we're on the on the plus side. Alright, let's go. Let's go do some more stuff. There's another HVT right there. Let's try to, to grab it. And, um, yeah. We have a Mr. Mimic right here. And let's see what we can do against him. Look at the damage. So that's six arrows, seven, eight arrows. And we didn't hit great spot with all of them, so. If you ask me, that's, that's pretty darn good. There we go, another one dead. Like, if you look at the ammo count and be careful to that, this weapon will just destroy everything you throw at it. And let's see if we have Mr. Mega Abomination at the entrance. This is pretty alright for strongholds as well infested strongholds to clear them but you do have to get a direct hit to take down the cyst in one go uh i want to take another one out one more mega abomination out and then we can uh, oh he just spawned in i knew that was gonna happen that's i was kind of i was stalling a bit to leave this place but we're gonna take this guy down and then we're gonna go dark ether come on buddy turn around be a nice mega bomb and turn around He's a bit shy. I don't know. These mega abominations have been acting weird lately. There we go. One head is off. Man, this high ping is really annoying. I do have termites for the mega abomination. So in case you're still having issues or anything, you can throw a termite in his mouth. And he's just going to take it down. I feel like Mega Abominations has got, have gotten a lot easier to kill. Because as soon as you go somewhere above him, he basically has no chance. Come on, buddy. One more laser and I think you're done. Two more, actually, because he has two heads. Look at the damage. That's insane. And we're out of bound. See, this is what I mean. I didn't run over the zombies that I killed. There we go. We got some more. So you get 12 from a pouch. That means 4 pouches to get max ammo. Alright. Look at the damage on the crit spot when you actually hit it. It's insane. And there we go. Another laser. And he's dead. Let's go. Beautiful. Get a monkey. I'll grab this for the dark ether. Unfortunately, we died, we didn't get anything great from this, but it's fine. I'm gonna go grab a self revive extra, and uh, yeah, let's go to to the really hard place. All right, guys. So we made it to the dark ether, but I actually realized that I have a, uh, an elder sigil on me, so we went to the elder dark ether to actually prove an even better point why this weapon is still amazing. Because, keep in mind, I'm still PAP 1 and blue. So, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do the Dark Eater. I did get the Disciple HVT, which it's uh, definitely not my favorite of the punch. 
this guy spawns so many so many zombies it's literally insane but look at the damage that i did with just one shot although i'm gonna have to use this uh this juggernaut because of the amount of zombies here okay it's ridiculous how many zombies are in this area where the disciple is it's absolutely ridiculous there we go we took it down i always like to have a juggernaut or a sentry gun for the for the dark ether just to take down this hvt i mean for this for this new one for the old one i don't think you need that that much and there you go we got an epic tool we got max of holding schematics and normal max of holding which is pretty great i mean it's still a one shot it's still a one shot a pap one blue in the elder dark ether like there's weapons that will struggle that will struggle in this place a pap three legendary so if you ask me this is pretty darn good all right let's go for the extractors now all right we grab the extractors this is another really good uh, contract for this but i'm just gonna use my casimirs because it's it's much safer i'll say and a lot easier usually there's a ridiculous amount of zombies on this contract lately Okay, take some shots on that mangler keep it back a bit by the way uh, i know i said this before but if you guys by any chance get shot by the mangler and get pushed away and you don't see the bar going up anymore when you do the extractor still hold the 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 button the interact button because you're you'll still do the extractor even if it doesn't show the bar because i see a lot of people just stop doing the overlord overload because they get pushed by the mangler cannon but that's not the case. You still do it. It just doesn't show the progression anymore when you move from it. And then do this. Man, I love this weapon so much. And I love this contract so much. It's so much easier. And there we go. And we get another mag of holding and a VR11 plant. Let's go. So many doggos on this. Massive horde of zombies right here. I mean, not that massive, but you know. Absolutely dead. No chance. Alright, let's go get Outlast as well, which is another contract that it's perfect for the crossbow because there's gonna be a huge amount of zombies in a very small place and the zombie really and the crossbow really excels at destroying those hordes. Alright, let's grab this contract. Apparently if you melee and then pick it up, it's not gonna do the animation. And it actually works. That's pretty huge. I always hate that have to pick up that stupid bunny and then you know look at it for a few seconds but let's go start the pnd activate the pnd don't start dude these doggos i like f1 cars i swear there we go and i'm stuck in the pnd shoot a few arrows one there in the middle look at that cripple a few of them and kill a few as well you can actually fast fire this if you spam uh, shoot button and reload at the same time. But in that way you run out of ammo so much faster. So I'd rather just normally use the three arrows and then... Uh, and then reload. Disciple right there. Look at the damage it does. It's insane. Absolutely insane. I don't think there's a specific ammo mod that really works with this i just like to use uh nepal mon and every gun that i uh, i use it's pretty much the best because it does that extra damage to manglers and mega abominations look at the damage it's insane you do have to spam this a bit but another mangler dead There you go, just like that. It's that easy. Okay, let's hold here for a second. We're 97%. This is already done. This is amazing. All three contracts without going down. Pretty good. And we get a flawless crystal. We get a flawless crystal. I'm going to throw away one of those. And we get mags of holding plants again. I remember the first time they added this... Uh, this dark ether it took me almost 10 runs to get the max of holding plants i'm not gonna go for the infested stronghold i i think i uh 
I done that a bit too many times and I the best thing I got was a purple tomb. Even in the Elder Dark Ether. So I think I'm gonna skip on that one. But as you guys can see, this weapon is just it's just ridiculous. Like Pap 1, Blue Tool, Dark Ether, Elder, absolutely no chance. Red zone, absolutely no chance. Like it, it literally destroys everything. Everything. And this is why it's the best weapon in the game. Like, hands down, nothing can beat this. Yeah, if you go for the Red Worm, you might want to have something else that's a fully automatic gun that shoots faster and stuff like that. But for anything else, the crossbow, it's your best friend. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, let's go for the X-Fill. And I went down. I, I jinxed it that I didn't go down. There's so many zombies in, in this dark ether, it's insane. Okay, let's get out of here. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this. As always, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button. It's going to be much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.